Do we still need charge apps in 2021? With more and more chargers having contactless charging on the charger direct, is there still a place for charging apps? Do these companies still need to do charging apps? And there is actually some unseen benefits of charging apps that you may not have thought of. And today we're going to explore why charge apps are still an important part of the charging infrastructure. Charge apps have a few benefits, but however, not all of them are obvious. Now, one of them that may be obvious to some people, especially businesses, is the chance of having central billing. So if you have a company full of employees, rather than give them a fuel card, which you used to in the past, or a business debit card, you might want to have them have access to a central billing account for your app. And at the moment, contactless card companies, there is only a couple of companies that like Octopus Energy that offer actual charge cards that can work on a couple of chargers, but not all chargers are signed up to these schemes. So having a centrally built charging app makes a lot of sense because you can give staff access to that. Now this actually also leads us onto my next point, and that is billing receipts. Tapping a contactless payment card on a contactless payment doesn't give a receipt. And if you're a company trying to assign expenses or a personal person trying to get expenses, you want a receipt to prove to your company that you charge and how much you charge at that point. And their the account department will want that VAT receipt to claim back against your assets. And it's important that we do have these receipts. Now, at the moment, as far as I know, no contactless card machines in the UK provide a receipt. If I'm wrong, please leave it in the comments, but it's not widely accessible. Now, I do think that they should have like a QR code where you can you know, scan that and do your session. But by the time you've done that, you might as well have logged on the app um, and just click charge. So it does have a use in these circumstances. They also have a place on non rapid chargers. Now bear with me, in an ideal world, yes, having contactless card payments on every single charger would be beautiful and wonderful, but it's not always practical because on say 22 kilowatt hour chargers or below, so seven kilowatt and three kilowatt, the time you paid the for the NFC reader, the time you pay for the bank charges, the time you paid for all this, you'd have to charge so much for the cost of electricity that you'd almost be at the price of a rapid charger, which means that some sites, they might just a fit a rapid charger, which means you'll be paying for a charge and instead of you know possibly getting it for less or free. And it also just makes more costs. So some people might just not decide if they are forced to do with this, you know, forced to put contactless card reader on 22 kilowatt charges or below. They might just go, oh no, we're just not going to fit any charges. So it can result in less charges being fitted. Now they make the charges more profitable, and that is because they are great data collections. Companies can track you and use your data and data at the moment is priceless. It's priceless not only to the charging company. So the charging company can see how often and how busy that charger is for you, how often you go to it. They can use some data collection to see how, how many charges they may need to fit from this data. But most importantly, they can sell your data to whichever supermarket you might be shopping near because they have a charger. They could also use this data to install more chargers by saying to a retail park or a supermarket, we've shown that if you're offering free charges or lots of charges in a location, you will see this profile of customer attend your shops more. And we've worked out that they spend this many hours because they're plugged in for this many hours and they'll spend more money when they're dwelling for more time at this, you know, your particular supermarket. They can use this data and it is invaluable not only to the charge company for selling it but also for expanding the networks because they see the use of it better than just a contactless card reader where it's anonymous and they can't really track you that well now it's worth pointing out i'm not a, a fan of contactless card readers on charges or apps i'm a fan of neither of these two things i think that the car should always tell the charger who it is and there should be a central billing system where you enter that in in your VIN number and this is possible because Tesla do it and it's not just Tesla who do it a couple of other charge companies do do it now Fastnet I know definitely do it in certain places in EU don't think they do it in the UK yet I know grid serve charges are currently 
able to do it, but they've not switched it on, which means hopefully some of the motorway network's ecotricity system can do it. As far as I know, BP Pulse here in the UK aren't thinking of doing it. Do you know of any companies in America that can currently do this in on CCS? So if you live in America, let me know. Can they currently do it in the US? Any charges do what Tesla do, where it just recognizes who the car is and centrally builds. They're thinking of doing this, as far as I know, with... Uh, charge america and they're also thinking of doing this in the uk with ionity with certain ionity partners but i just think that all chargers should have this standard and the billing system should be built into the car or built into a central billing system of vin numbers i just think this would make it so so much easier for the rest of us what do you think do you agree with me let me know in the comments below why 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 do you think that this would be better doing it this way do you have contactless card readers that you think would be better let me know finally it could actually mean having an app means more free to use chargers as in free charging no cost because of all the reasons i mentioned above and would we like more free chargers let me know in the comments below. Would you like to see more free-to-use chargers or would you just want contactless payment on every charger? What's more important to you? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this week's video and thank you very much to all my patrons. If you're thinking of becoming a patron, check out the link or sign up to YouTube membership. Oh, I've also got some merch. We'll talk about that another day. Thank you very much and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.